Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can convert your WMV files into MP4 or for that matter into other video formats as well. MP4 just being one of the more popular ones and higher quality, smaller file size kind of things. But uh, FLV is another good uh, popular file format as well for videos. But as you can see here, when doing a search for convert WMV into MP4, that there's a little over 65 million results that pop up. So you can see there's a lot of different options available for you. Now, a couple of them that I would suggest, one would be the AVS video converter. Now, I haven't used this one in quite a while, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they still have a free version or maybe it's just a freeware version because I see that there's some purchase prices in here. Let me see. Okay, well, evidently you can still download it anyway, but I believe that there is some kind of a registration. Yeah, let's see right here under registration. I think I saw something like 50 or 60 bucks a year. Okay, one year is 39. Yeah, okay, 60 bucks, you know, unlimited. So evidently there are some hidden gems whenever you download the software that are unlocked whenever you make this purchase and get the uh, license or register it for the 60 bucks or for the uh, annual subscription of 39 course with these prices if you're going to go that route I would say the 60 looks a little bit more appealing because it's a one-time shot versus an annual shot for just 20 bucks less. Anywho that said my preference is a totally free one it's called Handbrake and you can find this at handbrake.fr and this is an open source it works great for Macs, Linux and Windows so there's nobody that's going to be left out of this one. Now, what I would suggest is, of course, try whatever one you want, and if you are currently using one that you're comfortable with, hey, why fix it if it ain't broke, right? But if you're open to checking something new out, this is definitely one you should check out. Now, installing this is pretty straightforward. You just download it, install it. It'll leave a little icon on your desktop, and whenever you open it up you'll get something that looks just like this and what I suggest is until you get the time to go in and really dive into this and check out all the different features that this comes with just go ahead and click on normal and then go to source video file to pull in the WMV that you have already converted from your Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker or whatever rendering software you used but this is the one that I've demonstrated in an earlier video and once that WMV file is in, you can make adjustments here as far as the size. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. You want to keep the aspect ratio box checked. That way, whatever adjustments you make in the width, the height will stay in relation to that width rather than giving it a squashed look. So we're going to go with 720. And you see it automatically adjusts the height here. And then you can go into video. Make sure that this is checked for the H.264. Come over here to the average bit rate. Make that anywhere between 5 to 800 is a good range to work with. 800 being a higher quality and larger file size too. So let's split that down the middle and just go with 600. We want to make it a couple of passes audio 160 bit rates going to be very high quality but also a larger file size you can get just as good a quality in a smaller file size with 128 and into the advanced go with four and this is important here you want to check this box here for web optimized and as far as the container by default it's usually going to be mp4 but that's what we want to leave it at is mp4 then you just simply browse here for the location that you want it to be saved at and then you click on start and it'll go through the process of converting this WMV file into the MP4 file. Now one thing you want to be aware of is that it might take some time so if your machine is say short on resources maybe it's not really maxed out on the memory it's an older model whatever the case then it's gonna take a little bit longer too so that's one thing to consider my machines pretty up-to-date and a file this size 
converting it from the WMV into the MP4, it'll take probably 5-10 minutes. Older machines, it might be closer to an hour. So it, don't freak if, you're, if your older system takes that long. It's just the way that it works. And that's just a quick rundown on how you can use some simple adjustments in Handbrake to convert your WMV file into an MP4 file.